again, Gator community, and welcome to the second episode of The Gator Chomp. This week we'll be updating you on things that have happened all around our campus, from a new gift given to our school, even our sporting events, and a new segment called Counselor's Corner. But first, we had the opportunity to sit with Miss Etienne and learn a little bit of something about our new sign on campus. If you've passed in front of Beauchamp High School recently, you likely noticed a welcome new addition to the campus. A marquee sign donated to us and has been a passion project of our principal, Tiffany Etienne, for quite a few years now. We had an opportunity to catch up to Miss Etienne and ask exactly what does this mean for the school? The sign will be used as another tool to communicate to the community, our students, the parents, to give the word out of different activities that will be held here on campus as well as academic and uh, athletic events. We have been working on this sign for a couple of years now, but thanks to Mr. Michael Moore and his wife, Miss Emily, and their foundation, we were able to make our dreams come true here at Boshan High. As wonderful as the sign is, there's an even deeper meaning for the recent graduates of Boshan High School. Our sign is dedicated to the class of 2020. They went through something we none uh, have never experienced in our lifetime. That sign is going to mean so much to not only our former graduates, but to our future graduates for years to come. Oddly enough, it was the coronavirus pandemic that brought the need for a sign to full light in Miss Etienne's mind. Around March, we sent out a lot of J calls. Parents were getting inundated, but we had so many important notices we wanted to get out to our kids. Uh, I knew the sign would also help to get out some of the uh, communications that we wanted to get out to the parents and the community. And of course, all this is possible thanks to an alumnus of Boshan High School. Once again, I want to thank Mr. Mike Moore and his wife Emily for their generous donation, making that commitment for not only our school, but for our community. Thank you. At the time of this recording, the sign is not yet hooked up to power. However, once it is, it will display marquee-style messages in LED lights across the display panel. Hooked up to power or not, our new marquee sign is just one of the many things here at Boshan High School that make our day a little brighter. Every high school needs counselors to be successful. 
Luckily for us here at Beauchamp High School, we happen to have two of the best, Miss Keisha Boudreaux and Miss Andre Angel. Even though both of them are exceedingly busy, we were able to sit down with them and ask a few questions concerning exactly what should students expect over the next few weeks. Hello, I'm Miss Andre Angel, your junior and senior counselor. For all my seniors out there, we are preparing already for your graduation. There's a few things that you need to know about graduation and requirements that you will need. Starting on Tuesday, November 10th, we will have a Google Meet at 5.30 in the evening. Please make sure that you and a parent can join that meet. We will talk about graduation requirements. What are those things that you need to make sure you are doing so that we can get that diploma to you in May? One of the things we'll be discussing is something called FAFSA. What FAFSA is, it's an online application that gets money, your tops money that you're earning for you to go on to either a technical school or a college. It is a requirement that you complete a FAFSA before you graduate. On Wednesday, November 18th, we will have someone from the State Department who will do another Google Meet. For those of you who don't understand FAFSA, having trouble with it, or just have more questions about it. So please make sure you are checking your Google Classroom very often. All of these things will be posted in it. And for my juniors out there, you need to check yours too, because guess what? There's lots coming up that you can do to prepare for your graduation next year. Across the hallway, we were able to find Miss Keisha Boudreau and ask a few pointers of her as well. Guys, this is Miss Keisha Boudreau, the ninth and 10th grade counselor. So for my ninth graders, Y'all are as new as I am, so, and for my 10th graders, I'm getting to know y'all as well. First off, I want you guys to all get connected with the Google Classrooms. I've invited everyone. 10th graders, November 1st, I will be meeting you guys one-on-one, -on -one, and we're going to be going through which pathway we're gonna continue through our high school year. Am I that technical school student or am I that top student? We're going to sit down one on one and we're going to prepare for our future. We're going to schedule for our junior and senior year. We're going to commit to those items and we're going to move forward. I look forward to meeting all of you. Those who don't know me, just come stop by, say hey, um, and y'all have a great year. As we mentioned, they are quite busy. But please, if you need to visit one of our counselors, take the time and make an appointment. The 2020 Beauchamp High School football team is working hard this year. Although the Gators only have a one and four record, first year head coach Sal DC can point to many positives going into the last three games of the season. In the Pine Prairie game, we came out and executed the game plan exactly how we wanted to and showed our athleticism by blocking, tackling, running the ball well, and catching the ball in space. Abbeville waited a little too little too late, uh, difficulty stopping the run against a much better team than last year, a uh, much more athletic team than last year, just didn't have the speed to keep up. In the north side game, it was a hard fought battle that we couldn't get anything going on offense and our defense played well enough to win, losing a close game 7-0. Livonia game, um, sp spotted the guys uh, a touchdown, Livonia a touchdown and a safety, a 9-0 lead, and we decided to come back and, and answer, knocking it 9-7 and about to score before halftime before we throw an interception that's returned for a touchdown. And we also give the ball up uh, close in their territory and lose 23-7 in the game. We didn't quit on it. Uh, we made too many mistakes. Three big mistakes and it's a totally different ball game. This past week against Cecilia, uh, well coached team, very, very athletic team. Uh, we, we held our own run defense for a while but just couldn't get enough going out of, of a superior team, the best team more than likely in this district. Uh, they're going to go make a good run in the playoffs. But our guys did not have bad body language, kept their body language up and upbeat, and wouldn't point the finger blaming each other for our miscues. 
Uh, that is a positive which we haven't seen in a while, and hopefully we can take, at, take that into the last three games of the season. With three games remaining in the Gators' season, Coach DC spoke to us about his expectations for the remainder of the year. With three games remaining, two out of the last three are at home. We're looking for your support, and even with our one-win record, we can win the last four, three, go four and four, and end up in the playoffs. I even think we win the last two out of three, or any two out of three, we still have a shot of making the playoffs in this COVID year. Uh, it's all winnable. We're facing teams that I think we can, we can compete with, if not pull it off at the end. Uh, you never know how the game's gonna go. We could even win it from the jump. It is all up to how we prepare during the week, how healthy we stay, and how mentally tough we endure throughout the rest of the season. The Gators host Brobridge and Albany before going over to Donald Gardner Stadium against the hated rival Opelousas High Tigers. Come on out and support our Gator boys as they finish the season. The week started off normal enough here at Beauchamp High School. The halls were filled, students were learning, and teachers were beginning to prepare for the week. But upon closer inspection, it became obvious that something was up. Teachers and students alike showed up wearing a little more than their regular school gear. You see, this is Red Ribbon Week, a week set aside so that students can remember to say no to drugs. While Red Ribbon Week may not be unique to only Beauchamp High School as it is a national program, we certainly chose to recognize it in a unique way. Each day of the week had a clever theme to remind students to say no to drugs. On Monday, we wore camouflage because drugs can't find us. On Tuesday, we wore neon because we wanted to be bright and say no to drugs. On Wednesday, our theme was head to toe, just say no, so we wore crazy hair and silly socks. On Thursday, we reminded everyone to lay off drugs and wore Hawaiian lays and Hawaiian shirts. Finally, on Friday, our theme was proud to be drug free, and we wore red shirts to match our red ribbon promise to say no to drugs. To learn more about the national campaign, Parents or students can visit redribbon.org for any more information that they may need. While we may have seen some strange clothing this week, it's not strange to us to be proud to be drug free here at Beauchamp High School.
first maid is Courtney Quibido. And your 2020 Bo Shanghai homecoming queen is Madison Cotton. Congratulations to all of our homecoming court, and especially to the Queen, Madison Collins. Three years ago, Coach Thad Dickey took over a struggling Lady Gators volleyball team. They had only won a handful of games in the previous three years. Over the next couple of years, Coach Dickey got the girls going to the playoffs and being district runner-ups. However, this year they took a drastic step forward, going 21-2 in the regular season and their first district title in over 20 years. When I took it over, they had eight wins in four years. And when I took it over, no one believed in themselves. Uh, I'd helped Coach Malone the year before when she got sick. And the girl said, Coach, Coach, can you come help us? Can you be the coach? Sure. The AD called me and said, will you be the volleyball coach? I said, well, Josh, I don't know much about it, but I'll give it my best. I went to camps. I went to clinics. I watched videos. I learned. I don't know it all. I've asked Coach Bear from Turlings. I asked Coach Lori Simon from Bro Bridge. I co uh, talked to Coach Keith Leon from Westminster. Try to get some advice. Uh, try to find out what some do's and don'ts uh, from some of the people that have been around the game for a long time. They taught me a lot. I tried to bring some stuff to the uh, floor for our girls. Uh, tried to instill some discipline right off the bat. Uh, teamwork, um, I think. After the first year, we had 17 wins uh, and 16 losses. Got to the first round playoffs, which wasn't done before. The second year I had it, we were 18 wins, 15 losses, got to this first round in the playoffs. Last Thursday night, the Gators host their first home volleyball playoff game in over 20 years. And the Gators beat Cato Magnet in straight sets, 3-0. Coach Dickey talked to us about what it's going to be like this Saturday to host the second ever home playoff game and a second round game against Madison Prep from Baton Rouge. All right, Coach Dickey, great game, great atmosphere. First ever playoff win for Beauchamp Volleyball, right? First first in a long time. I think the first couple years of school, uh, they had a couple wins, but I don't think it was at home. Uh, I could be mistaken, but I think this was the first one. So I'm very proud of our girls. The student body was loud and proud. We had a nice crowd tonight. Uh, the girls played outstanding. Uh, we were without my starter, uh, Caitlin, who was out with the COVID quarantine. Uh, we had young girls step up. And then in the second set, we lost uh, Lily, who's another front row player with an ankle injury. Uh, but the girls rallied behind her and played probably the best set of the three tonight in that third set. So hats off to our girls. We played a great, great game tonight. Looking ahead at the next round, uh, Madison Prep or uh, Carver, um, you already got something possibly set up here, right? So we can host our second game of the season. Yeah, if it's uh, if we host Madison Prep, it'll be Saturday at uh, 11 o'clock. If we play uh, George Carver in New Orleans, it'll probably be late afternoon, early evening on Saturday. Okay, what's the uh, what do you think's been the key all year? This run you're on and and this playoff run. I hear you say believe a lot. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Wow, believe it's scattered all over my locker room, all over my wall. Uh, we talk about it all year long. Uh, it's just a process. We've got to believe that you can achieve something great before you can actually achieve. And I started when I took it over three years ago. Uh, one of my sayings where you got to believe if you don't believe you got you don't belong. So we have to achieve a lot of greatness when it comes with uh, attitudes and effort and uh, team wise everything has to be believing and I preach that tonight I talk to the girls tonight in between sets in between timeouts just keep believing keep believing keep fighting uh, live for this moment you're not gonna get this back uh, let this not be your last night on this court just play with a lot of heart and pride and the girls showed up and they've done it all year long 
Well, looking forward to Saturday. Um, any last words you want to say to the Gator Nation? Well, we just found out we're hosting here Saturday at 11. We play Madison Prep at 11 a.m. Please come out and support. Go Gators! Well, on behalf of all of us at the Gator Chomp in Bochan High, we wish Coach Dickey and his girls very good luck this Saturday against Madison Prep. And hopefully we'll be watching them next week as they go to the state tournament in New Orleans and go for a volleyball state title. Go Gators! That's it for this time, Gator fans. Thank you for joining us on another episode of The Chump. And from BC Productions, we'll see you next time at The Swamp.